Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of functions. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that for x belongs to R, two real valued functions f of x and g of x are defined such that g of x is given to us as root of x plus 1 and they have also given us f of g of x is equals to x plus 3 minus root of x. The further the question says what is the value of f of 0 and if I talk about the answer choices that we have here it is 5 0 minus 3 and 1. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So first of all, I see I want to find f of 0. For that, I will first need f of x. So once I find f of x, I'll just put x as 0 and get the value of f of 0. So let's understand how to find f of x. We have been given f of g of x, that is x plus 3 minus root x. And we also have been given g of x, that is root of x plus 1. So f of g of x means the function f of x, instead of x, I'm just putting g of x. So this entire thing, I will try to rephrase this in terms of g of x. So we need to convert this entire f of g of x in terms of g of x. So we'll need to convert this entire thing in terms of root of x plus 1. So let's try to convert that. So if I try to convert it, x plus 3 minus root of x. And I want to convert it in terms of root x plus 1. So what I will do is x, I can just write that as root x, the whole square, plus 3 minus root x. Now with root x, the whole square, I also need plus 1 with root x so that I can convert it in terms of g of x. So I can write this further as root of x, the whole square, plus if I have a square, I want to convert it in terms of root x plus 1, the whole square. So basically, I'm trying to convert it in the form of a plus b, the whole square. And if I expand that, I get a square, which I already have, plus 2ab. So root x into 1 is 2 root x plus b square, which is 1. So I already have root of x square. I'll need plus 2 root x and plus 1. So what I will do is plus 2 root x plus 1. I'm adding that 2 root x plus 1. After that, I also have 3 minus root x as it is. And since I have added plus 2 root x plus 1, I'm just subtracting that as well so that the math part remains same. So I have converted this in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. So my first three terms, I can just now write them in terms of g of x as root x plus 1, the whole square. And if I solve this, I get 2 minus, this becomes root x and minus 2 root x. So that makes it minus 3 root x. Now, once I have converted this, I will try to convert this also in terms of gx, that is root x plus 1. So if I want to convert this also in terms of root x plus 1, I will take minus 3 common, so then I will get root x plus 1. So I will need to subtract minus 3 and add also 3. So I'm subtracting 3, I'm adding 3. Now from this expression, if I take minus 3 common, I get this as root of x plus 1 the whole square as it is plus 2 minus 3 common so again you get root x plus 1 and plus 3 now you have this entire thing so your f of g of x becomes root x plus 1 the whole square minus 3 root x plus 1 and the left out part is plus 2 and plus 3, which is 5. So plus 5. So you got your f of gx. Now I can just write this root x plus 1 as g of x everywhere. So g of x, the whole square, minus 3 times g of x plus 5. So I have this entire thing. Now the function 
I want to just find is f of x. So instead of g of x everywhere, I'll just substitute x. So I get this as x squared, this as 3x, and this as 5. So you have your function now f of x. I just need to find f of 0, so I'll just put x as 0. So you get 0 squared minus 3 times 0 plus 5. That gives me 0 minus 0 plus 5. 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 plus 5 is 5. You get the value of the function f of 0 as 5. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question is option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on functions. So we were given f of gx, we were given g of x also. We needed to find f of x. So we just converted our f of gx in terms of g of x, that is in terms of root of x plus one. Once I did that, I got my function f of x and I just put the value of x as zero and that lent me to having the value of f of zero as five. That matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question here. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do support the channel. And share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.